Hey, what's going on, guys? It's like a hero. Today, big news dropped from Twitter. Uh, the Division Three has an executive producer, and so they dropped that news today through Twitter. Here's the article over on Ubisoft.com. I will link this in the description in case you want to read the whole thing. Uh, for me, the Division was a game that got me into content creation. It was a game that I just absolutely just played thousands of hours in. It was a little bit of everything that i like in gaming it was the looter shooter genre so like you know your destiny type games uh, those uh, you know your diablo games that you, you're grinding and you're getting builds together and you're looking for rare drops but all set in a military uh genre style so i'm gonna put a little video here and i apologize for the camera this actually me this was the first video that i made on youtube and um while I talk about it, I'm just going to kind of mention what the game was about because you might be new to this channel. And so you're like, what is this about? So basically in The Division, it takes place in a post-apocalyptic New York, Division 1. We're going to talk about Division 1 here. And there has been a viral op outbreak called the Dollar Flu. And, uh, you know, no spoilers here. However, the game revolves around when civilization falls, uh, special agents are called upon or activated to kind of help society right and so that's the general gist of the game not all of it but you know you can have that but within that storyline you have great great characters and you have a pretty pretty solid campaign now that's the story but the game mechanics were what really made me really enjoy division one you had this pve side of the game where you are you know you're running dungeons and you are in this open world you know killing uh, npcs you're looking for rare rifles you're looking for uh could it, you know D dmrs you're looking for different weapons different gear pieces and you're crafting together these builds and there are skills involved like abilities and the real real solid part of this game that had me just like super in love with it was the dark zone the dark zone was this pvp area where you would go in and you would fight like bosses within the landmark so non uh, npcs right a pve side of it and you would get uh, sometimes you'd get these really rare drops within it either set pieces really rare weapons with good stats uh, sometimes you would get just other kinds of autumn items or mods and then so in order to equip those items the only way you could equip them is by extracting them because they were quote unquote contaminated right and so that contamination because of the viral outbreak that we talked about earlier they needed to be extracted and so once you found uh, there was you know a couple various extraction points throughout a zone you would shoot a flare up in the sky but at the same time when you shoot that flare up you would have you would have a uh, other players who would know that the, they would also see the flare and they would be notified that there was an extraction taking place which meant that you had loot so they would try to kill you for that loot and then they could literally kill you you could see here i just in this old play up here i killed that player and loot dropped so their loot that they've been grinding for or whatever is now on the ground and it's a free-for-all now anyone can pick it up and that was the PvP side that I absolutely fell in love with. And this game was amazing, okay? Uh, Division 1 Dark Zone was a good time. And so once you extracted that gear, you were able to then, like, see it. You were able to, like, kind of see everything that it had on it because even stats were hidden because it was contaminated. And so then you would eventually, you know, get your gear, equip it all, and you would make these builds, and then you would do, you know, you'd either go back to PvP at a strong, right, because you have a better build now, or you would go do the PvE side of the game. And there was dungeons, and there was even these things called incursions, which were much harder difficulty, uh, difficult dungeons within the game. Think of them like, like Mythic Plus if you play World of Warcraft. So uh, that was a great game, right? And for me, it was like such a good game. I felt like it was so far ahead of its time. So um, eventually Division 2 was released, and it. I, it just didn't do as well. There was a lot of changes made to the game overall. Uh, some worked, some didn't. So back to this like announcement of Division 3, as a fan of the game, I 
simply want to see it be successful. I want the game to be good. I want the, uh, the time given to the developers, to all these people involved. I want them to be happy while they're working on the game. Those are some of the, like, the big things, right? If like, your development team's happy and they're working hard and they are given adequate time, I think those are like essentials for success, right? In any field, whether it, you know, whatever business or whatever job you may do, if you're happy to do it and you're given time, usually the product is good. This also leads me to kind of like look at the overall landscape of Ubisoft. Ubisoft has had a lot of their titles recently pushed back, delayed indefinitely. Others have been pushed back like years back, even the game that it talks about here. So there's currently there's a couple other Tom Clancy uh, IPs out. Uh, one of those is a mobile game, which I honestly have not touched at all. And I don't plan to. I'm not mobile games are not really my thing. And then there is the Tom Clancy's Division Heartland. That one has they've switched creative directors on that one. That one has been through the ringer. OK, it's kind of been in this like development hell. But um, and it's been delayed multiple times. And so I don't think there is even a hard date for this. I think the. The. Um, sometime next year, maybe is what it is. But I hope that the game is successful. I think they have. A good creative director in Garrity here. And I mean, if you think back to Division One, I, I mean, that game was so good. Even though it was not, didn't live up to the hype of that E3 2013, it was such a good game, IMO, okay? If you did think otherwise, you know, but I absolutely love Division 1. Division 2 was not for me. It, was, it wasn't for me, but Division 1 is. So, I mean, they have a good opportunity here, right? Take a couple, take their time. Everything we learned from Division 1, everything we learned from Division 2, what worked, what didn't, we're going to put in Division 3. And hopefully that is what we get. And I hope, uh, you know, I wish them nothing but success. I hope they get all the time that they need. And uh, that's it, guys. I'll put this in the description. I'm super excited. Let me know in the comments if you're excited. Hopefully we get the game that we've been waiting for. I know that the division has a very tight-knit community. And it's just, you know, I, I just saw my Twitter feed blow up this morning. So I hope you guys are well. I hope that... Uh, we get the division three that we all desperately crave and that we are sinking thousands of hours into it. Good luck and take care.